Hey everybody, it's Sean from GoPart.com. We're here today with this 2004 Ford Explorer. Um, we're going to be showing you how to replace the power window regulator uh, inside the door frame. Uh, this should be about the same for any, I'd say, 01 to 05. 05s might be a little bit different, but um, this uh, tutorial should be enough to help you if there are some differences. Uh, sport tracks as well. Um, fairly easy. We have to remove a door panel. Um, and then we can easily uh, uh, get to the power window regulator. Uh, tools we're going to need, we're going to need a 7 millimeter socket uh, with a ratchet. Uh, I'd recommend a small flat blade screwdriver will help um, in, in removing uh, some of the door panel here. Uh, you may want a putty knife uh, while you're removing the adhesive. I actually don't use one and if you're willing to go slow you don't need it. Um, and then there's 11 millimeter bolts that secure the window pane, or I'm, I'm sorry, the regulator to the door panel. You are going to need a drill and a 3 8 bit ratchet uh, to drill out the rivets that secure the window to the regulator rail. And then you'll want some kind of comparable bolts, I would probably say 8 millimeter uh, short bolts with uh, nuts so that way you can go ahead and replace those rivets whenever you reattach uh, the window pane to the regulator, as well as some painter's tape. And, and I'll show you how that works. What we do is we kind of use the painter's tape to hold the window up uh, while you're doing the repair. Uh, we actually do not take uh, the regulator out in this repair because we our regulator is working fine uh, so we don't drill the rivets. We do show you where they are and show you how to facilitate everything uh, but it is a fairly simple procedure that can save you some money if you know how to do it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay now we're, we're removing the door panel. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to remove these two six millimeter bolts that are on the bottom of the panel here. I already had one of them started. They are long bolts so they can take more turns than you would expect to get out. And I believe I misspoke, I'm sorry, these are going to be seven millimeter bolts, I think I may have told you six. Okay, so now we got those bolts out so we can move on. Okay, now with our seven millimeter screws out, a little flat blade screwdriver that I took here. You can go ahead and pop this bezel off. And uh, that's what covers your to your door handle there. <clears throat> now what we'll now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, lift and remove the power window switch. Okay, you want to slide that toward the, the hinge side. And on the back, which I'll show you in a second, are two wiring harnesses here. Go ahead and push down the tab, pull those out, and there's our power window switch out. And your harnesses are right here on the back. Now that we have the power window switch out, I want to go ahead and get you a better angle. There's a six millimeter bolt right here, or I'm sorry, a seven. I've done that twice already. A seven millimeter bolt here, so I'm going to go ahead and loosen that. Okay, I've got that bolt out. Okay, now um, you want to go ahead and uh, uh, pop the panel free. Little tabs on the back that kind of hold it in place. Okay, and you can now lift up and remove the door panel. Let's see if I can get you a good view here. These are the clips that we were just lifting up on. Some have the kind that snap in. I actually think these are much better. Um, of course, it's the back of the panel there. Just get that out of the way. Now 
Now, to reach the power window regulator, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take off the speaker uh, and then remove the water shield. You can see mine's already kind of hanging a little bit. Um, these are, uh, there should be four six millimeter bolts it looks like. Ours only has three. Um, got a small extension on mine. You really don't need that. Go ahead and loosen and remove these three six millimeter bolts. Pull the speaker right out. On the back here is going to be a wiring harness. You want to go ahead and disconnect that. Your speaker's off. Now we want to go ahead and uh, gently peel off our water shield. They use sort of an epoxy um, on this here. Um, we're going to want to go ahead and uh, just be careful with it because you want to leave it relatively intact so you can use it when you reattach uh, the shield to the door. Okay. Now we have our wiring harnesses here. So we'll go ahead and pull those from the door frame here. Water shield back. Okay. Now we can go ahead and access the window regulator and the bolts that mount it. Okay, I've reattached the power window I'll switch for just a second because I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is actually how uh, your windows, your your window uh, mounts to the regulator rail. Okay. See these right here? Okay. Sort of like a little clamping mechanism. With the one right over here. Okay. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use um, a, a, a drill, probably a, mm, I guess maybe a 3 8 bit. And what you want to do is you want to drill out the center of the rivet um, to get it out. And you're going to want to use some small locking bolts, some small uh, bolts with a. Uh, with nuts to to reattach it there. Um, there's nothing wrong with our regulators. We actually aren't going to do that here today. Um, but that is necessary to remove the window pane from the regulator rail. And what you would do is lift the window the entire way up and you would use some painter's tape across the top and over to sort of seal that in. Okay, or to, uh, to attach to the top of the door. Uh, that's going to uh, uh, allow you to separate the window pane from the regulator. So you can go ahead and move on with removing the regulator, which we'll show you how to do right now. We aren't going to pull it out the entire way, only because, as I said, we don't want to drill out rivets that just don't need to be drilled out. This is just for uh, teaching purposes. So we'll go ahead and get this power window switch back out of the way. 11 millimeter socket with a ratchet and a small extension. Okay, uh, your your window. Uh, wiring harness is going to be right behind here so what you would do is you would simply disconnect uh, that wiring harness and then you'd loosen one two three four five there's one hiding right over here okay th th that's going to be six you'll loosen and remove uh, those uh, 11 millimeter bolts now these top two you can just loosen you don't have to remove them because they have those circular openings above. What that allows you to do is, or the purpose for that, is it allows you to, whenever you have the new regulator, um, you can sort of hang it. You can put the bolts on it before you insert it inside the door, and you can kind of hang it in these two openings because the bolt heads will fit through. And then you go ahead and tighten those down. That allows you to tighten up everything else. Um, so again, one, two, three, four, five, one hiding back here, six. Disconnect your wiring harness with your window taped over the top there, uh, you'll be able to remove the regulator and the motor assembly, um, mount the new one, uh, connect the wiring harness, go ahead and tighten those 11 millimeter bolts. You want to carefully lower your window onto the regulator rail where you can go ahead and replace those rivets that, that you had removed um, with uh, some bolts and nuts. And that'll be how you do it. I'm sorry we can't show you because of the rivets, but again, there's just no point in uh, damaging perfectly good rivets. Uh, just for posterity's sake. So um, that's how you replace your power window regulator. A fairly easy installation, um, but knowing how to do it uh, can save you some money. You can get the parts you need at gopart.com. We'll go ahead and start reattaching the door panel.
now that we're done doing whatever it is you were doing on the inside of your door panel here, we can go ahead and reattach it. What you want to do is feed your wiring harnesses through. It's a little opening here, so we're going to have to reattach those. sort of line everything up. These little indents I mean we're gonna have some hooks that go there. So go ahead and just sort of work your way around. The adhesive should still be working if it's not. You can use a little bit if you like. Uh, once you mount the door on though it won't be going anywhere. Make sure you have everything reconnected the way it needs to be. Okay. All that's in place. Okay, we can go ahead and now move to reattach our speaker, connect the wiring harness. Tighten up our six millimeter bolts. Grab our door panel. Basically, you're going to use these hanging tabs, and we're going to do just that. We're going to hang it right on the door, kind of line them up to the best of your ability. Everything should be flush once you got it in the right spot. That's what I love about these door panels. Switch to our seven millimeter socket ratchet extension. Go ahead and tighten the bolt here. Try not to drop and destroy your tools. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and move on to reattaching our panels there.